Hello, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Today, we're gonna finally go in here. And I have decided to start from this location. This is where we have defeated the... A Draconic Tree Sentinel. I think that was his name at least. Normally you would go all the way here, rest at the Grace, and then move forward. And for the sake of understanding maybe a little bit more clearly how to navigate this area, I'm gonna start from the beginning. But first, I've got a point to spend, and I'm gonna spend it on... Yeah, sure, Arcane, why not? I'll do. Mm, yeah, more health. More health feel nice. Okay. So now let's go. Not very far, but... So technically we have already explored this area because I came from this way. Oops. But, like I said, for the sake of convenience and understanding exactly how to navigate this area. I'm gonna do this this way. Is it silly? Maybe it is. I don't know. Feel free to tell me in the comments. Also, while we are up here, what do I have equipped? Alright. Maximum equipment load so I can have heavy armor, more uh, runes obtained, which is always good, and non-physical damage negation boost. Very nice. And I'm rocking the new style because it looks cool with our pot. And no, I will never remove the pot. The pot is amazing. Okay, so far so good. This is fine. And we get up here and there's a lot of sad people around. Which is alright too. And then we end up here. You have glowy eyes. That's important for your health. Yeah, I didn't want that item anyway. So this way we can't do anything. So this way. And I don't think we can drop down either. That seemed a little bit compromised. But hey, we already made it to another grace, which is super nice. And we got Bok. Bok the seamster at your service, my lord. Damn Ready to right. Make adjustments to your garments. Can I alter something I have on? I can, but I don't want to remove the flowy cape. It looks very cool. Very good. Please, do be safe on your journeys. I will, don't worry about it. Alright, so... I guess this grace was a heck of a lot closer than I thought it was. Well... Now, you might hear this, so this sound. Also... That's pretty badass, isn't it? Also, you can see those guys. Let's see. Locked. Does not open from this side. So it is a shortcut for the future. So those boys. Uh, this one here will never attack you. The one further down will though. So if you want to test your metal and see if you're uh, actually good enough to kill them. Just feel free to hit the first one here. The other will not be so merciful. They're not necessarily super, super dangerous. I mean, they launch bubble at you and stuff like this, which is... Ow! Well, see, they do this kind of stuff. They, their main way of attacking you is bubble. Bubble all the way. Also, this this one here... It, it's, its slot in life is to roll. And he will never do anything else. And before I go attack the big mama up there, we're gonna read the description of the item we just got. Which uh, was the Envoy's Horn or something like this. And I have no idea what type of weapon it is. Right here. The Envoy's Horn. A golden horn of the Oracle's Envoy's. Uh, profoundly weighty, its blow are sure to be felt. 
originally an instrument but one that cannot be sounded by a mere human, or perhaps it is too early to sound the call. And we get Oracular Bubble, which is a spell we have. So now, let's see how uh, we fare against Big Mama here. Hello. Well, we can stagger her, him, it pretty well. So yeah, and we get this. Golden Rune 10. Now this next part may be dicey a little bit because of this man over there. He's kind of he's kind of a pain. There's multiple way to go around here, of course. You don't have to fight this thing. You can just ignore him for the most part. And we already encountered his kind before. So, you know what? I'm gonna let you roll. Everything's fine. Yeah, what this guy will do is he will basically cough up some kind of cinder that will catch fire. So, and it goes from here to all the way at the top of those stairs and even further, I believe. So, you know, careful. Also, in here, careful. There is a, there's a squire here. I'm, uh, I'm very strong, so I don't have to fear them too much, but still be careful. Because uh, they have, those one have explosive arrows, I believe, which can be pretty dangerous. Also, ow, 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 ow! Stop! All of you stop! And I get another one of their horn. I guess they're not very rare. So first thing I want to do. Um, I don't know, because there is a little bit of a branching path here. Either you go down here, or... You can follow this path and go here. I guess I'll do this first. And you're a roly-poly boy, I'm going to let you do what you do. Allow me then. Why am I afraid of you? Why am I doing this to myself? There it is. Yeah, just rush them. I mean, they are dangerous for sure. So be careful. Because uh, as you could see, if you don't stagger them properly, they don't really care that... Uh, they don't really care that you hurt them, which is painful for you. Oh, and that was just a way to get back. Oh, I guess we could have gone down there and then... Alright, well, we have seen to the path that we have chosen and we have seen everything, so everything's cool. Yeah, further down this place, there's gonna be a few branching paths, I believe, which might be a bit complicated to navigate. Is there something under this? Mm, yeah, we can go this way if we choose to. You have a sword, I don't like this, so stop. You too, just cut it out. And now in here, we're gonna have a different type of enemy. Oh no, it's not a different type. We already encountered them. They're nothing special. They're... Uh, they're the perfumers. The guy that... Well, uh, honestly, they're pretty annoying to fight. Because they chuck fire everywhere, which is... Quite inconvenient. Nice little office here. Yeah, we can have some adventure on the rooftops, or we can fight those guys over there. Which I'm gonna do real quick. Hello. I don't know what you were aiming at, but it wasn't me. Oh, you have a shield, that's cute. Okay. Yeah, navigating this place is gonna be spicy. 
but it should be quite all right. Oh, trying to ambush me too. But hey, we got this. Upper class robe. So let's read this item description. After this, I'm gonna call it quits and we're gonna come back another time. Uh, upper class robes, probably pretty light. Oh, I already had one of those. Well, embroidered bright green robe worn by noble children. Donning such a robe is traditional. Traditionally, the child's first show of burgeoning independence. Oh yeah, we got this with a with a with a mask, I believe. One of those, I think this one. But hey, we got it, so that's cool. And I'm gonna call it quits. So like always, I bid you a glorious day, and I'll see you on the next episode of Elden Ring. Bye bye.